I'll, I'll, I'll admit, regression sounds like a negative thing. It's really not a negative thing. It's like depression. Okay, linear correlation is used to determine whether there is a relationship between two quantities. And if so, how strong is that relationship? The linear correlation coefficient r is a unitless measure that describes the strength of the linear relationship between two variables. If the value is positive, as one variable increases, the other increases. So if it has a positive relationship, as one increases, the other increases. If it's negative, as one, decre as one increases, the other decreases. Like that. So as time goes on, whatever the other quantity is is going to go down. The variable r will always be a value between negative 1 and 1 inclusive. So scatter diagrams, that's a visual aid used with correlation. It's, that's the scatter diagram. It's a plot of the points by a very meaning two variable data. The independent variable x generally is a quantity that can be controlled. The dependent variable y is the other variable. The value of r is a measure of how far a set of points varies from a straight line. The greater the spread, the weaker the correlation, and the closer the r value is to zero. The smaller the spread, the stronger the correlation, and the closer the r value is to one. So here's an example of where r is one. Very strong correlation makes a nice line. Here, it's all going in the same general direction. It's strong. It's not great. It's strong. Here, it tends to be going the same direction. It's moderate. It's kind of spread out. Looks like there's a line going up the middle. This one, there's really no way. There's a line going that way, that way, that way. You don't know. No correlation. Here, R is negative 1. So as X gets bigger, Y gets smaller. That's a very strong correlation. Makes a nice line here. R is negative, it's strong, but it's a little spread out. It's very spread out still. You can see somewhat of a correlation. And here again, no correlation. Now you can calculate R. It's a pretty complicated calculation. And often we have machines do these things for us. It's something you can do by hand. So the formula to calculate the correlation coefficient R is as follows. And the number of data points times the sum of X times Y minus the sum of all the x's minus, uh, times the sum of all the y's over the square root of n times the sum of the x squareds minus the sum of x's then squared times the square root of n times the sum of the y squareds minus the sum of y of that quantity squared. So example one, words per minute versus mistakes. There are five applicants applying for a job as a medical transcriptionist. The following shows the result of the applicants when asked to type a chart. To determine the correlation coefficient between the words per minute typed and the number of mistakes. So Ellen has 24 words per minute, 8 mistakes. George, 67 with 11 mistakes. Philip, 53 with 12 mistakes. Kendra, 41 with 10 mistakes. And Nancy, 34 with 9 mistakes. So if we look at this table of the words per minute, the mistakes, words being x, mistakes being y, the x squared column would be just squaring these values. This is the sum of all the x's. This is the sum of all the y's. So here are the x squareds. These values here squared. And this is the sum of all those things squared. These are all the y values squared. And here's the sum of all those y squareds. And this column is the sum of the x times y's. So this column represents 24 times 8, 67 times 11, 53 times 12, and so on. So with that data, let's put all the pieces in the right places. So how many pairs of data do we have? We have five pairs of, da of data. So then this is going to be the sum of x, y. That's this one here. So that's going to be 2281 minus the sum of the sum of the x's, sum of the y's. So we have five times the sum of the x, y's minus the sum of the x's times sum of the y's. 
Then we have n again, n is 5. And this is going to be the sum of the x squareds. It's 10,711. Minus the sum of the x's here, and they get to be squared. And we have 5, again, now the sum of the y squareds, that's 5, 10. The sum of the y's are going to be 50 squared. So this is going to give us, in the numerator, 455 over, from this expression, 74.793 times, from this expression, 7.07107. And that's going to be 0 0.86033 is the R. And that's a pretty good correlation. I mean, you're rarely going to get it to be 1, especially when you do experimental data. That's pretty good. Anything above 8.3 is really good. I'd call that a strong relationship. Okay, so now, you may be asked to find each of these pieces, and you put them in this, this formula. And it's helpful to make a chart like I had on the previous page.